Hey everybody, this is Isaac Davis with Sidewise Publishing. I wrote the What's for Dinner app. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through some of the basic uh, instructions on how to use the app and, and how to get it started. Uh, right now, it's loaded up for the first time, so it's initialized the database. Uh, it's going to basically give you some instructions here. Uh, you can pull these back up from the, from the menu. Uh, right now, you just have to pick whether you want to stay home or go out. So we'll pick staying home for, for the first uh, it's it's just as simple as basically clicking a button. Uh, you get a suggestion. In this case, it's split pea soup. So we go ahead. If you want to, you can click on this recipe, and it will take you to a Google page where uh, Google will pop up with some recipes for split pea soup. So let's see what they suggest. So there's a few recipes. So that's just to give you an idea of what the button does. Uh, you can go back to the. I just clicked the back arrow go back into the application. Now what we can do is uh, you know, like for example chicken fried steak comes up uh, pork stew so some of this might not be appealing to everyone so you know everybody's got their own taste so what you do is you click the menu and you pop up edit selections from there now keep in mind these pop-ups only pop up the first time and they'll they'll go away you can bring back up the instructions if you want by clicking on instructions from the menu. It'll pop it back up if you need it. So basically what you got basically <laughs> said that twice, didn't I? Uh, what you got here is your, your this is the list of food items that you'd want to eat, you know, I don't know, every night. Whatever. This is basically what you don't mind cooking. Uh, you can go through this list and you can check off things that you that you like or check off things that you don't like. I'm just going to click some at random here and I'm going to just cut this down and what we'll do is let's say uh, let's just get rid of the ones that I've checked so you come back and hit the menu and then you can say delete multiple right here and we want to delete everything that we've checked so that kind of narrows down the list a little. Let's say you don't like liver and onions, you can always just click delete. Uh, what I've added in new is this add multiple items. If you have uh, your phone set up with email, you can email yourself a list, uh, cut and paste that list out of your out of your your email, and just paste it in here. Now, since this is an emulator, I don't really have an email set up for it, but I can type in something like a, and I'll just show you how it works. If I could type on uh, hamburger, uh, and I'm putting A in front of these just so they all pop up to the top of the list. A soup, a chicken. So I'm going to click the add these items button, and it tells me that I've added them all. Blanks them back out. And you can back up now. If you scroll up to the top of your list, there, there's your chicken, hamburger, and soup. Now, you might not necessarily want those, but just for demonstration I put those in so let's take those back out so we're going to delete all the checked boom they're gone so now once you've called down your, your your staying home list what you can do is go back here and say you want to go out to eat now what this does is it pops up with uh, a phrase for an, a, a restaurant now there you got wing street so if you click map it now again I'm on the emulator so I can't really uh, demonstrate it without you know I'd have to do some tricks to fake the emulator out into thinking it was somewhere uh, what we can do though is that there's a pretty extensive list of restaurants about 300 to be exact uh, well no more than 300 to be exact so you're gonna want to call this down this list is probably not uh only if you're lucky enough to live in the areas <laughs> where you've got all these in the, in the area are you gonna be uh, you're going to be wanting to cut this down some. So, what we can do is, let's just keep a couple here. Let me just go pick some at random. And then I'll show you what you can do. You, you've clicked all these. I hit the menu button and say delete multiple. Let's delete all the unchecked items this time. So that narrows our list down to quite a bit. In fact, it doesn't even scroll anymore. Basically, there you go. Uh, again, you can add multiple items here. So let's say we've got a, a list of uh, macaroni grill. Taco 
Taco Bell. Uh, oh, let's try that. So we add these in. And you can add as many as you want. You just paste it in. So we add those. Then we hit back here. And, well, we got two Chipotle. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, we should have Macaroni Grill and Taco Bell. So there we go. Now that we've called that list down a little to something more of uh, what you'd want to go, you know, out to eat at. Come back here and you start hitting the buttons. And, uh, and of course, there's your suggestion. Uh, right there. And we got one other feature back on the Stay Home list that's new. Uh, added in version uh, 1.3. You can hit the Build a Weekly list. So, again, there's some instructions on how to do it. Uh, to get the gist of it, basically, you take the list of dinner items that you have, and everything is checked. Right here, like it says, we have 63 items checked, enough to fill at least nine weeks of unique meals. So you can come down here, you can say, okay, give me four weeks of meals. Uh, and start it on any day of the week. Just depends on what day you shop, I guess, uh, as to what's best for you. It'll save the selection. You just create a weekly list, and... There's four weeks of meals planned out with no duplicates. So, I have another video that explains this too. If you need to, uh, if you want to watch that as well, uh, it's it's really simple. You just keep clicking. Uh, if you see something you don't like, like creamy fettuccine with asparagus, it's like I don't really don't feel like making that. You can scroll through and find it and uncheck it, and then you won't see that pop up on the list again. So again, these are all random. You can also go to the menu. You can uncheck all, and then, so we've got nothing checked right now. So let's 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 get about a week's worth here. Let's say let's say we you know we don't cook that much. We got about seven meals that we can uh, we can cook. So if you create a weekly list, you'll get them. You'll get the same seven just in a different order each week. So. Uh, Fairly easy to use, simple to make a, a, a meal selection, and then uh, there you go. That's pretty much it. It's uh, That's how to customize the program and get it started, and then you can just use that to, to, to use it every day. Uh, I've also got the widgets on the home screen, if you saw those. Now, since I added these widgets before we got this uh, started here, before we made the change, these will change once a day. Uh, and the next time they change, they'll pick from the list of restaurants and the list of meals that we have. So they only update once a day. So if you make any changes to the list, when you come back, if there's something that you took out, just wait a day. It'll go away and, and refresh from the list. That's again. That's it again. I would like to thank everyone for purchasing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me. It's sidewisepublishing at gmail.com. Or you can check out my YouTube channel. I think you can inbox. You can email to my inbox there as well. My uh, channel is, is again, Sidewise Publishing, one word. I appreciate it, and thanks for buying.